looks like the same helicopter I filmed earlier this morning. Bell Jet Ranger 3, I believe. It's 29 times, so that's heading west now. And that was showing on a couple of the radar sites, so I'll go, I'm just going to follow where it goes first. Heading west now, it's turning slightly north, that's what we did earlier this morning. Kind of heading towards Huntingdon, I would say. Now he's turning more to the north, as you can see. Yeah, he's making quite a course change now. Now he's heading over the city centre of Cambridge. I keep well while he's doing the turn. Let's see if he's on a radar. Give me a second, folks. And he might come back. It looks like he's coming back. So, uh, flight radar 24 Aha, has got it. Yeah, that's the same one as earlier today. I can see it. Hold on, let me go and get it again. So he's made a turn, 180 degree turn. He's now heading back toward the airport. I'm just going to get some more, I want to zoom in more just to get a view of it. That's 88 times, yeah. Okay, so... I'll go back to the radar side so just to give you the info. I right, said so this is the same as... That's obviously delayed, that's wrong. He's already made a 180 degree turn for now. That just goes to show you that when you're using radar sights, don't treat it as gospel. Where they say a plane or helicopter is, is not necessarily right. They can be about a minute behind schedule. Um, so you can end up missing stuff. You can see something on the ground at an airport, as in, sometimes I'm, I'm watching, there's a plane showing on the ground at Cambridge Airport you're thinking it's still on the ground and next thing you know you hear it going over your head it's taken off <laughs> because this is delayed information you see that they've still got it as heading west and I've just shown you it heading east and it's it, if it was carrying on at the speed I just saw it it would be somewhere around here by now where I'm moving the hand so that's way off um, time is 12.58 p.m. 17th of August 2019 so don't treat radar sites as gospel for positions they can be off by a mile or two like this is I'm going to switch to ADSB exchange that's a C5 galaxy there I've got it on the military settings so to change the settings go to menu options filters disable the military filter get rid of the little X there and then all the civilian stuff will come through in a second when it's when it loads. So move the map to the correct spot you want. I'm filming from Cambridge. I'm just waiting for all the other planes and helicopters to show up. As you can see, it's, it takes a while for them to send the data to you. Um, there we go. So there you go. See, they've got the correct course for it now. And that's roughly where it showed up from earlier today so I don't know where it's actually taking off from because that's just where the flight path starts to be tracked it could be any it could be Newmarket Heath it's coming from anyway it's just done the same thing it did this morning gone round Cambridge City Centre just over the airport and now he's heading back he's near Little Wilbram at the moment one o'clock let's switch to flight radar flight radar has finally decided that it the helicopter's going east. <laughs> you can see you see how differently two different radar sites can be tracking the same thing way off. I mean this is literally two or three minutes wrong. It's, uh, normally I, I like flight radar. Flight radar is you know, probably my preferred radar site for civilian tracking. Um, if I want to find out what a business jet is, I use planefinder.net. If 
I want to see military I use ADSB exchange and or freedar.uk and then there's a few other tracking sites I use as well when I'm really trying to work out what something is if it's not showing up on those ones I just mentioned so So I'm just going quiet because I can hear something. There's a plane somewhere near me. Could be something from Ducksville. I'm hearing something. I'm just going to have a quick look. I can hear something flying around, something small. And I'm only 10 miles from Ducksville, so sometimes we get Spitfires and stuff. Just heard something to the south of me then. Duxford, like I said, Duxford's about 10 miles south of me from here. Yeah, you must be able to hear that. There's a bit of engine noise then. something something flying just then right I'll stop this video I'm in a sec so flight radar 24 <laughs> that is ridiculously bad I mean that's now it, now it's frozen this is so off it's not even funny I mean it seems to be having severe trouble tracking this particular helicopter which is blue and white as you saw in my video they're saying it's coming out of Cambridge. Maybe it is. Um, maybe it's not. <laughs> Based on this tracking, I wouldn't trust that even. Um, and let's go back to ADSB Exchange. ADSB Exchange. What have they got for this? Where's the helicopter? Ah, well, it's different. That's not, oh, there you go. I was right. I did hear something. That's a Spitfire I heard. I thought I'd heard something. G dash CTIX Vickers Super Spitfire and that would have come out of Duxford again you don't know how accurate this is it's gone towards Newmarket and it's just come back over Cambridge I knew I heard that rumble good ears Dave is what they say 1720 feet so you can Google that ridge to figure out whether that it could be that they do have two seat ones that fly out of Duxford during the summer holidays to take people on very expensive short flights like three grand for I don't know 20 minute flight or something so if you're filthy rich you can burn money like that if you're filthy rich feel free to donate to me via PayPal please just leave me a comment on this video and I'll tell you how to send me some money um, so there you go helicopters no longer showing on ADSB exchange according to flight radar and just to show you that other things are moving it just seems to be that, that one has stopped right I'm going to stop this video because it's been going on long enough times now 104 p.m. 17th August 2019 that's Saturday thanks for watching